What's up everybody and welcome back to my studio. In this video I'm making a clamp bar for cameras and microphones and adding it to my studio wall. Everything you'll need is in this picture and the list of the materials is in the description. So check it out there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your piece of wood and give it a good sanding to clean it up, get it ready, and then clean off all of the dust off of it. This will have it ready for painting. I use a 100 grit sandpaper and then either a 300 or a 400. You can do with just 100. Once it's nice and sanded, get out your measuring tape. And now we're going to measure it. We're going to measure the full length is 36 inches. And it's one and a half inches wide, so we're going to measure out three quarters of an inch to get our center line on the length of the board. And then we're going to place holes at 2, 10, 18, and so on every eight inches, which will give you five holes placed evenly along the board. Drill them out. I've actually already pre-drilled my holes, so um, that was me pretending. Now I'm going to take the level and get my level guideline on the wall. A little darkness right there to kind of show you what it looks like. Once I have my center line, I mark out my same holes as I did before. At the 2, 10, 18, so on. Those measurements are listed in the description also. Now what I'm doing here is I'm taking a small thin nail and I'm hammering it through the wall in my drill spot. This is not only going to give me a pilot hole, but it's also going to let me feel if there's a stud behind it. I'm using wall anchors, so I don't actually want it to go into the studs. If it goes into the wall about a half an inch and then suddenly goes in a lot easier, there's no stud there. Because of how I measured out the holes and the placement on the board, I actually did end up coming in contact with one stud, and I'll show you how I fix that later. You can see right here, that's the hole that hit the stud. Now that I have my pilot holes, all I have to do is put on the 5 8 drill bit and drill me some holes. I'm only going to need four because one of them is on a stud and I won't be putting an anchor in that spot. The next thing I do is I start to paint the board. I use a brush to paint on just regular acrylic craft paint. All it has to do is match my studio. But I'm using a brush to get into all of the little nooks and crannies of the wood. Make sure it's got a nice even coat on the entire piece. I'm using a hair dryer in between each coat. That way I can speed up the dry time a little bit. Since it's just regular acrylic paint, it'll go pretty well. I then flip it over and do the next side. I continue this process until all four sides are done. Remember, this is a base coat. This isn't the go going to be the final coat. The next thing I do is I take a small foam roller. Cheap throwaway kind will do. You don't need a roller for painting a wall. But yeah, I take a small cheap foam roller and I put the paint on in a second coat to get that nice smooth coat that a roller gives you. I then allowed that paint to dry slowly over time and didn't use the hair dryer on it. Now I'm gathering up the anchors and the bolts that go with them and I'm setting them up getting them ready to be inserted into the wood. All you're going to do is you're going to take one of the bolts and you're going to slide it through the hole in the wood until it hits the table. And here I drop everything on the floor. Just slide each one in, one after the other. Since, I, since my second place hole is where the stud was, I took one of the bolts and I cut it so that it'll fit in the hole, but doesn't actually have to go anywhere. I'll glue that in later. Once all the bolts are in, I tilt the board to the side, 
and I push them all the way through. This will also bring any of the dried paint that might have gotten into the hole out of the hole with it. And you want to scrape that off of each bolt because you don't want it to gunk up the anchor as you put it on. So then you just take it, your anchor, make sure the little rotating nut part of it is in, is in the center where it's supposed to be, and make sure that it's clamping in the right direction. You want it to be like Pac-Man, and he's trying to eat the bolt. That's how you know you're putting it on the right direction. Spin them around a couple of times. You don't want to put it all the way on, just barely screwed into place. Then, you take the whole thing over to the wall where you drill your holes. Now the hard part of this is you have to put your thumb on the screw top of the bolt, and then take your index finger and your middle finger and squeeze the anchor closed while you push it into the hole. It doesn't take much effort, but it might take a little. Then, you take your screwdriver, you tighten everything up, and the more you tighten, the more that clamp is going to pull back towards the wall. These clamps are rated for 120 pounds, so they'll hold two, three, four, five cameras or microphones, whatever you want to put on there. And here's the finished product. As you can see, it holds the camera, points it right down at the work that I was working on before I started making this video and had shaky camera problems. So this is what prompted me to make this addition to my studio. It clamps right onto the board. I can position it in any position I want. And now, I guess I have to get back to actually doing art. So, take care. If you like this video, like, subscribe, hit the buttons. You know what to do. See you later.